Hello, my name is Ian Smith from Syncrotech Solutions, and in this demo today, we're going to show you how to create a Kingsway Soft connection to Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM using the Azure Active Directory application user. So I have here a simple Kingsway Soft SSIS job, and I have a Dynamics 365 connection manager. And I just want to change the organization here. And um, I don't really have any options because it's only really available for the one organization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new app ID and organization, uh, app ID and client secret for this uh, different organization here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory. I'm going to navigate to Azure Active Directory and go to App Registrations and then click on New Registration. I'm going to call this uh, D365 Demo. And <clears throat> I'm going to leave the default setting for accounts in this organization directory only. I'm going to leave the redirect URI blank for now. I'm going to click register. And there it is, D365 demo. I have the app ID already, but uh, I still have some more work to do. And I'm going to go to um, app API permissions. So here we are in API permissions. I'm going to click on add a permission. I'm going to go down to Microsoft Dynamics CRM. I'm going to click on user impersonation, add permissions. And I'm going to grant admin consent for Syncrotech Solutions. Do you want to grant consent for the requested permissions? OK. Now I'm going to go to Certificates and Secrets. I'm going to add a new client secret. I can say let it expire in one year or two years or never. So I just need to give this secret a name, D365 demo through 2021-11-11. And here it is. And I have the client secret value. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in a notepad. Along with the along with the app ID, those two things together. Now I'm going to go to CRM. I'm going to go to Advanced Settings in CRM. Wait for it. Okay, that took a minute. So now we're going to go to <coughs> Security. Users. Now this is uh, where we need to change the view here to application users and then click new. We're going to call it. Oh, we need to do one more thing here. Application user. We're going to call it D365 demo. I'm going to paste in the application ID.
for this particular user, we need to manage the roles, and you can give the user whatever roles it needs. And again, I have the application ID, I have the client secret, but now importantly, this stuff populates when you put this into this uh, application user here. We get the application ID URI, we get the Azure object ID, all that stuff populates. Then we just go back to our client app ID setup here, and this is where we paste in the new app ID. and the new client secret. And then <coughs> uh, we should be able to select D365 and test. OK, so that was a little bit disjointed, but um, that's basically the point. That's how we got it to work. Um, so it's basically three steps. You would uh, create the app user in Azure, create the app user um, in Dynamic CRM, give it a permission, and then come in here and paste the client app ID, GUID, and the client secret. Uh, so this will... Uh, allow you to get logged in to uh, Dynamics 365 CRM even if you have uh, multi-factor authentication basically this uh, goes around that to some extent and uh, it's basically server to server client application with an Azure Active Directory uh, application user so hope that helps and uh, let me know if there's any questions.